Hello, what's up guys, this is Dr. Technician for helping you go further, faster in technical fields. In this video, I'm gonna show you how can create a beautiful and simple logo reveal animation using After Effects. As always, if you're new here consider subscribing, and hit bell to get notification. Let's get into the video, coming up. Open up After Effects. Create a composition. Let's call it Particle Effect Logo. Keep basic settings as always we're using. And hit OK. Here, drag the imported logo to the composition. Hit letter S for scale, and adjust scale to proper size. Then pre-compose this layer. Change name to logo. And make sure to take this, move all attributes move into the new composition. Next step is creating a linear mask to this layer and select this rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle shape on the logo. Let's see a mask layer added here, expand mask options, change mask feather value to 200 pixels. Perfect, the edge of mask is feathered properly. Now select mask path, and create keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Using selection tool, double click on the rectangle mask to select it, and move to left edge of the screen. And move time indicator forward 3 seconds, then once again double click on mask, move it to right side of the screen. Take a look at the preview. Perfect. Let's pre-compose this layer here, let's call it emitter. Next step is creating a solid color layer. Select black color for this layer, and rename it as particular effect. In the Effects and Presets panel, search Particular, and add Particular Effect to the solid layer. If you didn't see this effect in your After Effects, you can download this effect plugin using the link we've already put in description. After a little loading delay, you can see the effect is appeared. Then go to Effect Controls panel, and expand emitter, change particles per second value to 300,000. After a little bit more loading, you will get the result. Here, we see all particles are compaint. Move time indicator to third second, and create a keyframe for particles per second. Move time indicator a little bit, and change value of particles to zero. Here, change emitter type to lights. Click OK. Change value of this four options to zero. Emitter velocity, velocity random, velocity distribution and velocity from emit. Change emitter size to x, y, z individual. And change values of emitter size x, y and z to 50, 50 and 1. Then, once again change emitter type, this time change to layer. Then go down until see layer emitter. Expand layer emitter. Select emitter from layer, which is we already pre-compose layer. Here convert this layer to 3D, then you see the result. Perfect. Then select the particular effect layer. Shrink emitter from effect. Expand particles. Set value of life to 2.5. And set life random to 75%. Sphere feather to 100%. Change size to 2. Look the logo, small changes affected. Then go down to opacity over life. Expand it. Open up presets. Select this preset, linear slope. Shrink opacity over life. Change blend mode to add. Close option particles. Then expand environment. Set value of windex and wind y to 75. Expand air turbulence. Before going turbulence, change air density value to 2. Set effect position to 150. Look at the result, perfect. Now, let's duplicate the particle effect layer. To do so select the layer and press Ctrl plus D. Then from particular effect panel, shrink environment. Expand particles. Change life value to 2. Expand environment. Windex 100. 
Wind Y minus 100. And effect position 300. Change this layer type, to add. Next step let's mangle this particular effect with our logo. Drag logo layer we've already pre-composed to timeline panel. Then search effect, linear wipe. And drag to logo layer. In effect settings, change percent of transition completion to 80%. And create a keyframe. And move time indicator to third second, and change transition completion to 0%. Perfect. Change feather to 200, so it will look beautiful. And drag logo layer to 1 second. Look here, our logo and particles are both connected properly. Perfect. Next step, create a new composition. Let's call it, final. Drag pre-composed particle effects logo composition to timeline. Alright, create a keyframe for scale at the beginning of animation, and put value as 100%. At the end of animation, create another keyframe. Value change to 80%. Perfect. Let's take a look at the preview. I think it's a long time animation, let's shorten it. Place time indicator in 6 seconds. And create keyframe for opacity, and move 1 second forward, change opacity to 0%. All right. Our particle effect logo reveal animation is completed. Thanks again for checking out this video. If you get any progress using this video, give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe for more videos like this. And again Dr. Technician, helping you go further, faster in tech. Keep crushing it we will talk soon.